Frances's starting point for the exhibition was the curb itself. I think she initially approached the commission as seeing it as a giant rainbow. Then she decided to change that. At the beginning of the show, it feels very colourful, and the colour slowly weakens as you move through the space. So you start with these beautiful kind of poppy colours and textures, and then the last section, you're just left with grey stone and the brown from the Bellata. That one slack is actually our 30th curve commission. Curve commissions, I think, are really quite special and they allow artists the freedom to create ambitious new work from scratch and giving artists to think big. I think Frances's work is that is comparative to that of a, an archaeologist and she's digging up, excavating different cultures. She's not about actual recreation of particular cultures, but using them to riff off and creating something of her own you really see this kind of blend between craft traditions, uh, figurative sculpture, her exploration uh, of the human form, and her real interest in kind of post-war rational design. And she mixes all these different ideas together to kind of create a visual language of her own. It's quite unique. At the end of the exhibition too, you see these two figures, uh, two long legs and two long arms, Ashinga and Tenenga, based on Japanese folklore characters. The form is really quite interesting. You have these really long arms and legs and they work together symbiotically. And she's transposed those forms into these beautiful Bellata sculptures that sit atop this really quite harsh but beautiful stone. What's amazing about this show is she brings such rich elements together.